Hi, my name is Josh with Cooker Tech, and today we're getting technical. Today we're going to be covering our new lower shock bracket for the Humvee. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Looking to modify your suspension, there's already a few guys out there in the game, such as Rod Hall, Extreme Hover Performance, GT Pack, all which make great products for the Humvee. But today I'm covering our, the bracket that, I'm, that we're coming out with. And with this bracket, this is for the DIYers, the guys who want to do their own thing and make their own suspension and make their own modifications the way they want to. So right now you got to work around the factory mount, the big heavy factory mount. And I got an upside down um, Humvee arm right here, A arm. So if you're working with this guy, you got a few problems. One, it's cast iron. So if you're working with cast iron, it's pretty hard to modify this, especially if you're trying to weld on it. If you weld on it, your welds can become brittle, break, and the part's no longer that strong. The other big problem you're going to have on this thing is it already has eyelets on it, such as a one inch eyelet, which is the fat what the factory uses, which is a massive shock eyelet. Um, it's also the other problem could be your height that you have to work around, and which makes using this bracket in your custom suspension modifications pretty difficult. So the way this mounts in, if you never played with one before, just goes right into underneath and then it mounts just like that underneath the truck. So what I came up with is a bracket that mimics the same shape, the same bends as what this one does. So that way, the only thing that you're getting rid of is this top triangular portion that you don't really usually need or want because you want to design your own. So if you're trying to weld to this, like I said, you can't because it's cast iron. So make one on steel. Plasma cut, nicely bent, drops right into the factory holes. Drop it right in there, you're all set. So, and when it comes to this, I kind of went with the same idea as the factory, what the factory had, as far as the widths, um, thicknesses, and etc., to keep the same factory strength that I'm looking for. So the factory ranges from about uh, 3 8 at the thinnest possible point to 5 8 at the thickest point, like you see here in the grooves. The plate that I came up with is half inch plate. Uh, A36 steel, which is your basic steel for a lot of fabricated use for trucks and things like that. Obviously not trophy trucks. Trophy trucks, you use a lot of chromoly. So with that, you also get a roughly the same width. So the width on this guy is an inch and three quarter. So you got an inch and three quarter surface to work with. Half inch thick. It's laser cut. I also did is reduce the eyelets for the uh, the mounting. So the factory ones were kind of loose in my opinion, and those were 11 sixteenths. I brought this down to 41 60 fourths, uh, what I've been working on. So it's also cold bent instead of hot bent by anybody. So which means they put this thing in a press and use a 90 ton press and crush it to bend it to its shape that you see here. And that's with a CNC bender. So it's all laser, it's laser cut to ensure accuracy. It is cold bent by CNC bender to ensure the accuracy. This way the fitment is nice and tight. So the idea behind this guy is now you got this bracket, you know, how are you gonna go about doing it? So this is just a piece of paper to give an example. But what your idea is here is you mount triangular, triangular shock mount like this here, like I did with the paper. So what that's going to do is two things. One, obviously, it's to mount the shock. But by also doing the triangular form, like you do here, and also probably adding another piece of support across, you got a very rigid shock mount that will work very well with whatever you're trying to do or modify to make work in your application. And, you know, everyone has a different use for the truck. Whether they want to try to turn their truck into a Baja truck or some lifted monster or use it as a street truck or whatever it is they may do. Now, the purpose of the reason I did this is so you can do it, modify the suspension the way you want. Make up your own modifications. 
you know, modify your truck the way you enjoy it. It's your truck. So, but what this gives you is a real nice start point. So you got a nice flat surface, something that's easy to weld to, and it's got enough support where it shouldn't be a problem. So coming up, I am going to be using this in one of my upcoming projects I'm working on for my truck for suspension. And I really, I want to see how well it's going to do. So this way I can double check the performance on this before I release something like this to anybody. But it should be plenty strong enough for what I'm seeing here. Should not be a problem. All right, so in regards to the fitment, the only other small item I found is there's a little bit of slag on some A-arms right up in here that may need to be ground off. It does not affect any of the strength and it's just usually sitting on the flat section. Um, I've only had one A-arm so far that had the extra slag on there. All the rest of the ones I've tried this and put this on with, it just seems to drop right into place and fit fine. So I've got two 516 bolts. Josh from Cooker Tech, and today we got a technical. If you like what you saw here today, go ahead and check out our website at www.cookertech.com. Also, if you want to learn more about our company, our information is in the bio below, below the video. Thank you, and have a nice day.